Oh no, Pudley is dying again. Yeah, one bad thing about being saved from the Grim Reaper as an elder is that your H bar is completely full. So you will just die again if you load back into the game with a character like that. So Pudley's time really has come and every time I save the game, quit and come back, it's going to kill him again because he's an elder and there's really not much you can do about an elder who has reached the end of his life. You can get a couple extra days here and there, but it just doesn't help. Oh, where are you going, Grim? You're, oh, here comes the evil chicken. Is the evil chicken going to save Pudley again? Which one is this? Buttercup. Okay, Buttercup. Oh, he just got up! Pudley just got up! I thought the Grim Reaper actually had to resurrect him, but no, the chicken just interrupts Grim, and Pudley gets up, and then Grim is beaten up. Okay. <laughs> and he's thinking about the dog. Alright, so what happens next, Grim? You are thwarted. You lost. Pudley gets to live another day. This is Charity and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a Sims 4 series about the challenge from the Lucid Simmer. A link to the rules for the challenge will be in the description below, as well as a link to the challenge's creator, the Lucid Simmer. We rejoin Lachasha and Isaiah and we have basically... Yeah, Grim is still getting beaten up in the background. We have basically redone the farm and expanded a little bit because this is another week. So it's nice that it's nighttime and all of the lights are on. So I'll quickly show you that before moving on. But we have a lot more farm plots. That's going to be a challenge in order to fill all of those up. And we actually expanded the treehouse. We made this area a lot nicer because I really wanted to have this as a playable space and a bedroom. So we have a bedroom and a basic toilet and shower up here now, as well as a game table and a telescope. Now I could use the growing together treehouse, but I really do not like the fact that you can't see what's going on inside and it doesn't seem to be that functional because you can't place a whole bunch of things on it. You can't have a shower, you can't have a toilet, you can't have a sink, and that's just annoying. So we have that space now and I also made a little cat area over here with some dog beds. So this area will be for the strays. The strays will have a place to have a little bit of shelter and then we have this doghouse over here this is going to be for the family pets so i put a dog bed in and grim is still getting attacked by evil chickens okay every single evil chicken on the lot has to come out and attack grim every time he comes it's hilarious but anyway, so the doghouse over here is going to be an area where the pets will have their beds and some food. And unfortunately, I had to restrict them from the house because there's basically not enough room in here. They often get stuck on this couch and I can't fix it. They get stuck there and their needs are just going down. And then... Unfortunately, I never get a chance to make sure that their needs are good. So what we're going to do is fix that. And since it's morning time, now Isaiah can grab something to eat and get started on taking care of the farm. Ah, we have chickens in the house and bunnies. I did not consider that when I locked everything for pets. I thought that chickens counted as pets, but I guess not. And the black chicken got the fox or the evil chicken. Cameron loves flowers so I actually have a mod that allows toddlers to pick flowers and pick other harvestables which I think is reasonable for them to be able to pick one at a time. So she's gonna pick some flowers and ask Latasha to put them in a vase with water. Uh, how did you get in here? Are my fences not locked anymore? Oh, 
That is so annoying. So I decided to take Isaiah and go visit the Hesters because unfortunately I have to reload the lot by traveling in order to get all of those people out of my fences. One of the gates was not locked and that was really unfortunate. So Jaden and Aaron actually had a kid together, Ashlyn, and his father was kind enough to allow them to move in and help support the little one. Peyton still lives here, that's his sister, and they got three cats. All right, so where is the father? There's Aiden, and why don't we know Aiden? That is weird. So Aiden found out that Nina was just really using him. Nina was actually planning to steal a lot of stuff from the bar and she was using Aiden's house as a base of operations. So since Aiden found out that she was actually a criminal, he divorced her. And he's still very sad about it. So we'll try and cheer Aiden up and just see if he can realize that it's better off without Nina because Nina was just a bad influence on his children. And now he's just tense. I think he doesn't like the decor. He actually hates farmhouse decor. I might have to get rid of that like. We better get back to the farm now though because we did not finish taking care of all the animals. Hey Isaiah, I think Jacob B. Stubbs is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? Yeah, go for it, Anaya. You're a single mom. You need to get married. Oh no, Grim is here. Who are you here for? Okay, and now you're just going to leave? Okay. All right, it's becoming too much to keep up with all the things at the farm. So Isaiah has decided to use his club in order to take care of the farm. And we're basically going to hire people from around the town to come and work for us. I just have to make sure that I harvest all of my plants before you guys can get in here and take it from me. Oh, and Malia aged up. So the babies are now going to be infants. This is going to make it even harder. Malia is going to be calm. And Pablo is going to be sunny. Aaron wants to be best friends with Isaiah. Okay. Okay, Cecilia Kang is going to get married to Marquis. I don't know who Marquis is. Hopefully that's a good match. I guess we'll say yes. Oh no, Pudley's dying again? Yeah, I had to reload the game because I was lagging. Yeah, but I don't think Grim is going to be able to get over there because there's a bunch of evil chickens. Nope, he was thwarted yet again. Go get him, evil chicken. Judith Ward? Okay, yeah, we're prepared for the power to be turned off. Oh no, Pudley is dying again. And this time he's outside of the evil chicken area. Oh, that's not good. Oh, but Grim spawned in the evil chicken area. Okay. Well, I guess Pudley is going to be continued to be saved as long as he's in the evil chicken area or as long as Grim spawns in the evil chicken area. Yeah, Grim, you have it rough. You have to be attacked by every evil chicken until one of them succeeds in making you resurrect Pudley. I don't know if it's going to work this time, though, because I think that's the third chicken, and I still have not got my build mode back, because it still says a sim is dying. So again, I think it's a random chance as to whether or not it works, and every evil chicken gets a chance to attack Grim, and one of them has to actually beat Grim into submission. Here comes another one. There's Buttercup. Okay, that one didn't work either. Yeah, unfortunately, I think this time we're going to have to say goodbye to Pudley. Well, Pudley, you've been with us since the beginning, really. We'll miss you. And there he goes. We now have a doggy urn. Or actually, it's a tombstone. Okay, I don't want any ghost pets. So we will be releasing the spirits and maybe we'll put the tombstone somewhere. I'm not sure, but I don't like having tombstones around because the Sims tend to go out of their way to mourn the lost Sim and they just do it too much. They're obsessed with it. 
Oh, look, Valerie doesn't like death. How dare you take Pudley away from us? Oh no, Isaiah's being attacked by bats. Can he dodge them? I think if you have like high logic skill or high fitness, you can actually get out of being bitten by them. But he does not. At least he didn't get poisoned. Okay, it's Maple's time. That's why the Reaper was standing there. Yeah, I had to basically shut down the game and put all of the chicken coops in my inventory and gather all the chickens again because somehow they were wandering around the whole world. And I, it was making my game lag so much since they were far away from the house. So now I've fixed it. I had to replace them so they're a little bit different configuration, but it still works. And Pablo learned how to stand. Why don't you go night night? No, don't don't pick him up. Don't pick him up. No, don't put him in the crib. All right, Patchy, you haven't been doing your duty. Please help with the crops. Now Malia can stand. Oh no, Shaky's dying now. I guess he wasn't too much younger than Pudley. Let's see if he gets saved by the evil chickens. Hi, Grim. It's your worst nightmare. You've come to the farm to try and take an animal, and the evil chickens are going to get you. Here he comes. Sue is going to be the first one to attack you. Is she going to win, or is she going to lose? Okay, Sue walked away, and nothing is attacking Grim. Yeah, it's still a little bit laggy here. Okay, Shaky was saved. Bye, Grim. Yeah, Wade is a destructive toddler, but it'll be their birthday today, so Wade and Cameron will be aging up into children, and finally we'll get a little bit of help around the farm. Oh, Maybelle's time has come. Sorry, Maybelle. You are one of our first chickens. Nugget's time has come. Okay, so that's why the Grim Reaper kept staying around. He wanted to take another one of my chickens. It's time for Cameron to blow out the candles, if I can make it through the wall. Alright, Latasha, have her blow out the candles. Yay! And Cameron is going to be an animal enthusiast and go for the artistic prodigy aspiration. All right, no more being destructive, Wade, and no more throwing food on the floor. You're also going to be creative and an animal enthusiast. So I've been having a lot of trouble with simulation lag, so that's why I'm skipping right to this part. We are aging up the infants, and it's Malia's birthday. She's going to become a toddler. You don't need a cake to age up infants, but you do need to pick them up. Don't just talk to her. No, don't age her up. For some reason, she canceled that interaction. No, don't feed her. She doesn't need to eat. Okay, there's not enough room. All right, I get it. There's not enough room in here to do anything. All right, here we go again. Happy birthday, Malia. And we're just going to make them independent from now on. I think that's just the easiest. And we're also going to age up Pablo. And by the way, Latasha is pregnant again. So this is our third pregnancy. We had two sets of twins. And Pablo is also going to be independent. Well, we didn't go to the Finchwick Fair this time because we were just getting so much lag. What happened to my pumpkins? Did somebody harvest my crops? No. Okay, I can't use the club anymore. I had a huge pumpkin and someone took it. I was going to harvest it, but I just wasn't there yet. Ah, oh, that is so annoying. Well, we're going to send the gardening club home. <laughs> Because for some reason, when you say, oh, you can garden, you can also harvest all of my crops, even though you don't own the place. Well, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.